So sometime uh, about two or three, four weeks ago, I posted a video of a croc comparing it to Abidjan and uh, it received some very interesting feedback. Well, some people really liked it and some uh, not so much, but overall the sentiments were very, very positive. So it, th it thought me something. I was like, okay, why not? Instead of comparing, why don't we look at things that we can learn as a city from other cities across the world? So today we're going to start with a city that we all know very, very well. And this city is called Cape Town. Yes. So I traveled to Cape Town some few years back while working with the City FM and City TV and uh, got some footage from that country. So let's take a look at what Cape Town has to offer. What can we learn? Cape Town is in South Africa, the very tip of the African continent. So here goes the video. Now these are different parts of Cape Town, driving through town. And uh, for starters, if you ask me what I learned, well, it was the immaculate planning of the city. It's not perfect. There are slums in certain parts, but it really looked beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The weather was really cold though. But Cape Town was beautiful. The roads, the buildings, oh my God. They looked very well maintained. But this, like I said, was a couple of years back. Let's enjoy some more of the video and I'll come back with a few more things that I learned. We also got to visit some recreational centers and this was my first time of seeing a ferris wheel. It was beautiful. Beautiful water table mounting in the back. Beautiful water body. A really immaculate city. Very well developed. Years and years ahead of multiple cities. You can say, well, I don't want to start any war, but it is a remarkable city. World class. I found this footage on, uh, on my drive, uh, like I said, went there on uh, by kind courtesy of City FM and City TV and uh, found this footage in uh, my materials and I felt, hey, why don't we put it together and show people a few things that Accra could learn from Cape Town. Some beautiful neighborhoods. The weather was extremely cold though but absolutely beautiful place. The roads well kept, the buildings appeared to be well maintained, the malls so big, and the airport, oh my god, that would take a different video. And some very pretty highways as well. No potholes, I don't remember seeing any potholes at the time, there could be potholes now, you never know, hopefully not. The spaces just seem very well maintained. Another thing I remember was the hospitality. My oh my, the food was amazing. Before we went, we were told that the food might not be as spicy as food from Ghana, but it was really, really good. Absolutely loved it, loved it. Loved it. Another 
Another thing I can point out is the fact that the spaces seemed very well monetized. It's like they were selling the experience of Cape Town to you. Everywhere you went, everything was immaculate, the service was just on point, and you know, you had very world class buildings, restaurants everywhere. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So maybe you can add a few things in the comment section of some things that we can learn from Cape Town. It might not be Accra, it might be Lagos or Cairo, Nairobi or Kigali. What can we all learn from a beautiful city like Cape Town? And we've not even started talking about the Western Cape, where the wine comes from. Oh my God, the countryside, absolutely amazing. The views are just breathtaking. And you need to be there to experience it. It's absolutely different, totally different. When you're there, uh, it's super memorable. beautiful thing I remember is how they monetize their natural produce that is the grapes that they turn into wonderful world-class wine and that's something that Accra can learn especially when it comes to Akoko. We are doing well with the chocolates but I believe that we can add some more value especially here so that we in Accra can you know rip or gain more from the world uh, of chocolate Hope you enjoyed it.